Okay, so I'm just starting the um, assembling of these boards. I, I read the instruction. I do recommend everybody, if you guys are not really used with electronics or stuff, read these things at least twice, you know, make sure like you do understand everything. The way I see things right now with these, uh, they will, we're going to install first all the resistance. Uh, then we're going to install all the capacitors. We're going to put all the connectors, the potentiometer. Uh, we're not going to install the uh, the drivers uh, until we do some voltage testing on this board. So, so for now, just I'm just going to concentrate myself on the resistance. So, the tools I'm going to use uh, to assemble the board. Well, I do have uh, just regular iron. I have these. Um, this is a kind of a jig, you know, what this thing does there, it's, it's, it's just, you could put the resistance and it's going to guide you where to bend uh, the lead of your resistance. So this is going to give, for example, there, see if, if I bend it, I know we're using this, this brand and it should fit. You know what, when you put this thing on the board, it should, it should fit perfectly. Uh, you don't really need these things to assemble the board. You can just probably like just put the resistance in there. But uh, these are the things I do have on on my uh, on my workshop, so I'm gonna use it. You know, I do obviously it, it's a better bend, and I make sure that it really bends in in the uh, right position all the resistance. So I'm gonna work on the resistance right now, and um, just gonna follow step by step. First of all, um, I mean. Step one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to show you the result about when all my resistance will be installed in the boards. Okay, one thing I should I should mention it, it is in the manual. Probably one of the tools you guys are going to need also. It's a multimeters. Uh, they do recommend it before you install any of the parts on the boards to check their value. For example, if you took the 10k resistance before installing on the boards. You just double check, make sure that the value is right through all the parts. And this is just for troubleshooting purpose, just in case that if you guys are at the end there, uh, you install all the boards and you're realizing that you guys are having problems or whatever, that at least you know that all the components went in your boards, you know their value, you know if they're right or good. So I believe through all this assembling, multimeters will be definitely a tool that you guys are going to have to to, to uh, carry with you there when you guys are going to do the assembling of these boards. Okay, step number one, we're going with the resistance, the R1, R2, R3, these are 10k a quarter watts, so they're brown, black, black, red, brown, so I'm just going to put them on the boards. Turn it this way, just so you guys can show you. You know, so I'm just gonna put the resistance this way. I'm just gonna bend the lead, you know, like that. Not much, just to make sure that they don't go out. And I'm gonna just use my tools there, like I said before. If you guys doesn't have it, doesn't you don't really need it. It's just that I like it because it makes a perfect bend on my resistance through the hole but like again you guys won't probably really need these tools if you don't have it it doesn't matter okay this is R2 in place like again I'm just gonna bend a bit the parts the leads to make sure they won't go anywhere I'm gonna bend this one again and this is gonna be R3 you guys can see there R3 is in place so I'm just gonna stick my fingers on R3 and again I'm just gonna bend the lead a bit to make sure this thing won't go anywhere okay so now I know they're in place so I can turn my boards on the back and I can just start soldering these three resistance okay so now I'm just gonna soldering so basically I put a little bit of heat and then I'm just letting the soldering go, isn't it? Add some heat. 
this is probably one of the main reasons why I decide to buy this board is because uh, it needs to be assembled. Uh, for me, this, 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 this all CNC hobby project, it's not about making money out of it. It's, it's more about hobbies and, and the idea of building my boards myself there and soldering all my components and, and you know what, like knowing exactly uh, what's on my board, what's the value something that really turned me on so I, I decided that you know what that's one of the probably the main main reason why I decided to buy um, the um, RBC and C kit okay so there you go I'm just inspecting the soldering make sure the lead went through both sides of the board here I don't really like it so sometimes if you saw a soldering you don't like it you can just go back there and add a little bit more of, of, of soldering so this is it see for example I got these three resistance in place so now I'm just gonna cut the uh, excess the lead excess I'm using just a little priors you don't wanna go you don't wanna damage the board here so you just go there Okay, there you go. So you guys got an idea. So I'm gonna keep on going with the other resistance. Okay, so I'm keep on going with step number two there. Like I said again, these are still resistance. They're R4 and R5. bend the lead these are all the same things you know I'm just gonna repeat the same steps so I'm not gonna I'm gonna jump a little bit there so um, I'm gonna install all my resistance and I'm gonna show you videos uh, after all my resistance give you the times it took me to put these things together and the next video you I'm gonna show you guys basically it's um, when I'm gonna be at the capacitors Again, put my resistance, just bend my lead a bit, make sure it won't move when I'm soldering. And I can just put the boards upside down and start soldering. Okay, so now all my resistance are installed. So now I'm moving on the capacitors. Uh, I don't know if it really needs to be mentioned, but a resistance here, it doesn't matter on which size you put it. I mean, it, it on both ways it's going to work. So if you guys were wondering there, there's 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 no direction. So now I'm gonna put uh, capacitors. I'm gonna put uh, C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. Uh, these three capacitors also uh, no direction. It doesn't really matter. Just like there are labels in front. For me, I just I'm just gonna say people. If you guys gonna install uh, the label in front, for example, just keep the same patterns. It doesn't really matter. But you know what? Just like getting the same patterns uh, saves you some time, maybe, or headaches or something. So i show you the resistance there, and I cut the excess lead there on, on the bottom. So now I'm moving on, capacitor C1, C4, C5. So the same things I'm going to do there, I'm just going to put them inside. This is C1. I'm just going to bend the lead a bit there, you know, just in like that in the V in V shape so it's it stay there right so I'm just gonna put the other one in place this is C2 again I'm just gonna bend it so it stay in place so now I'm gonna go with uh, C3 Same thing. I don't want to. You don't want to bend it too much. Just bend a bit there, so it keeps in place. And I'm gonna go with C4. Let's just try to identify where it is. Okay, C4. And I'm go with C5.
again it's, it's, it's important if you guys want to double check the value of these parts uh, you guys can um, uh, use your multimeters make sure that they do has the right value I did it before so they have the right value so I'm just gonna move on there and, and soldering these things okay so I got the C1, C2, C3, C4, C5 installed there's just a little thing I want to show you there's a little thing I did there uh, I don't know if it really has to to be this way but I believe it was a little bit better I don't know if you guys can can see rather just putting the capacitors all the way through to the wards I put the capacitor in and I just pull it out like one or two millimeters just to make sure that there's enough lead here uh, so I can soldering I don't want to have the ceramic inside of the board so if I can put soldering there on the lead after so I just put them inside just lift it a bit like a millimeter or two to you know not make sure that they're see there's a little gap there in between so I did that in purpose not too high because I don't want to be like they, they bent or something but just enough so if I want and I want to add some soldering I want to add some soldering here then I can do add some soldering so I just left lift them a little bit on the board so this I don't know if it you guys needs to be done but uh, I thought it was a good uh, things to be to do on on the board on these little capacitors but I'm just gonna remove the excess of, of, of the lead there on the back it's, it's very easy to assemble uh, the board is a very nice quality printing PCBs so I'm enjoying right now doing these things there you go so another step done so what I'm doing there basically I'm working step by step every time I'm finishing uh, a step there I'm just X marks and I'm moving on and on and on so I mean it doesn't really look it's, it's very easy to assemble I'm assuming you know what that everybody you know what that if you guys have been able to assemble the CNC machine I mean this board will be a piece of cake for you even if you're not an electronic gig or whatever it's, you don't really need to it's just it's so easy to assemble so far that uh, I guess everybody can do it okay so I got um, the RN1, RN2 and 3 and 4 are, are, are in place so soldering's and I didn't really have to cut the excess of the lead there so far there there tend to be kind of a kind of not too long but there yeah maybe they need to be cut in the in the further but for now I'm just gonna leave it like that so I'm moving to step number seven I'm gonna install our um, the C6, C7 and C8 these are another parts, another capacitors uh, that do have a direction on the board so for example I'm going on C6 on the instruction they're saying you guys you see on the on the capacitor there's a short lead and there's a longer lead so the longer lead should go in the plus signs basically when you guys see in these things they what they call polarized capacitors they have a negative side with which the smaller lead so the longer lead will be the plus side so you just put this thing in this position so just if you don't really know which size of land just make sure that the negative leads doesn't have to go with positive obviously so very simple here again I'm just gonna put them inside I'm gonna bend the lead a bit make sure that it won't move so this is 